I was meant to do the intro to this video while I was at the pub. Tomorrow, you guys all know Bullfrog. This trip's gonna be so good that I'm gonna have to split it up into a three part series. So, welcome to part one. G'day. You beauty. So, day one's going to be predominantly taken up by the drive down there. It is a thousand kilometres from where I live in Darwin down to King Ash Bay Fishing Club which is located on the Gulf of Carpentaria. Well, that's enough talking for now. I'll see you again in about eight or nine hours. That's 980 kilometers done and dusted. Just 20 kilometers to go now. The last 20 k's is a dirt road. They've had some patchy rain over the last week, but I don't think we'll have any dramas getting in. absolutely nothing's changed which is pretty cool so i did track down ash he was having a quiet afternoon beverage with steve from nt luxury houseboats that's when young damon walked in <laughs> how you doing mate mr mikey edward elizabeth the third. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> he hit another rock bar with brett's boat again so there were some gearbox repairs that needed doing. Welcome to Backyard Mechanics King Ash Bay 101. <laughs> they almost <laughs> another motor. Oh. <laughs> Hit your head, you another rock bar. <laughs> what Damon is holding here is actually two parts. The two parts had fused together and needed to come apart. <laughs> this is young Seth, Steve's son. Get a haircut. What's, what's, your, um, what's your fridge look like? Do you want a northern? Yeah. Yeah, come get one. Uh, do you want some up and goes, mate? Uh, look, I'll just up and leave that one for a minute. Cool, because I didn't bring any food. I'm literally living off beer and up and go. That's all right. There you go. You got that one? Yeah, yeah. You better. Cheers, mate. Yeah, so this part is from Brett's outboard. Brett, you've seen in my videos before. So it turns out the current plan is to head out to Weeby Fishing Lodge for a couple of nights. And we need to get Brett's outboard working to take a couple of the boys out there. So that's what's happening in here. Side topic, this is actually my two-wheeler. Doesn't look pretty at the moment, but man, I've had some fun on this thing. Are you going to get this motorbike working for me? I'm um, not so sure, but Dad wants <laughs> Bullfrog to get the carby off somewhere around. Bullfrog needs to get the carby off? Yeah, but he's not so sure if he's going to do that. Alright, we're waiting for Bullfrog. <laughs> but back to the parts that need to be separated. After a few beers, a plan was devised to superheat one part and super cool the other, and the inner part would simply fall out. What could possibly go wrong? Hello! <laughs> <laughs> the mission. 
the Crownus Awheelus. So what's the actual go here, mate? That's from a, a Yami. No, Honda. this is a Honda. Honda. Yeah, one of them really f***ed out boards. Ice cold. <laughs> no movement whatsoever. We needed to escalate things with power tools. Thank God we all had our PPE on. The thongs, mate, unscathed. Sonny's unscathed. That's it. Yep, that's the Widowmaker, a nine inch grinder. goes off like a f***ing bomb. After another <laughs> hour, the job was done. Right. Well, the first half anyway. Nah, it looks alright. So what's your thoughts? Are you going to get bread on the water or what? Look, there could be a 225 horsepower Honda on the water tomorrow. Oh, beauty. We headed down to the bar at King Ash Bay Fishing Club to do a bit of planning for our trip. But the big question was, what's the verdict on Brett's outboard? So what's the verdict on Brett's outboard? Oh, look. We, we've struggled. We've uh, we, we battled with a nine inch angle grinder on it, a welder, LPG gas. The big hammer. Oh look, we, we, we've tried everything and we got it off and we've succeeded. Yeah, we may be low achievers, but we come through in the end. <laughs> At this stage, the plan was for Brett to head out early in his other boat, Thunderbird 6. Young Damon was going to frantically get the outboard back together in the morning and head out in Weeby 1. Then Ash and I are going to wait for Bullfrog and the girls and head out in his boat five o'clock somewhere or Foss. <laughs> yeah, rodeo, my shout. <laughs> Again? Again! You could say it's a bit of a staggered start. So if you want to come. Oh, it's a staggered come. start. It's yeah, a staggered yeah, yeah, yeah. start. Variable depending on how much rum we drink tonight. Yeah. <laughs> are we the last ones at the bar again? Yeah. Uh, again. Some things again. never change. No, we're always the last people at the bar. <laughs> So you wrote a song about it. Support your local. <laughs> Support your local, mate. Support your local. Because you know what, what was the lyrics, mate? Yeah. Uh, when the bar closes, there is no debate. The last one standing will be Ash and Kate. When the bar closes, there is no debate. The last one standing will be Ash and Kate. The fishing is... <laughs> Too soon. Oh, Thank, thank you for putting up with us. Not soon enough. Damon, where are we going? We are going to Brett's house. Mm -hmm. Hey Jess, Jess. How you going, Jesse? We've seen you in one of my videos before. I think it was the last time we were out at Weeby Lodge. She has been a busy girl. I will show you a sneak preview of what she's been up to tonight, but I'm going to have to wait till daylight to show you the full package. You're going to love it. Come here. There's ten. She had. 11, there's 10 okay. left. Oh my god, was well, this is the first one? Yeah, yeah, one's got taken by a snake. Taken by a snake. <laughs> we don't talk about the snake. <laughs> what snake? No, no, what's our next video? It's a plan, mate. Oh. You look a bit dusted. <laughs> I think it's like 7 am, and I haven't slept until 7 am in ages. We've just come down to the bar here to find some reception and uh, try and track down Bullfrog. Meant to be here this morning. We're pretty sure we just saw his car come in here and then he just sent it the other direction. Uh, that's his car there at the boat ramp. Froggy, how's it going, mate? Oh, look at the beard. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. That beard is going good. Ash cooks up an absolute feast of a breakfast. No bacon here, but big pork porterhouses. Yeah, porterhouse for the one. Hey, Jesse. Hey! How's it going? How's it going, Poochies? Oh my goodness! 
What the hell? Hey Jesse, who's a good girl? What a good mummy. What a good mummy you are. Sunbirds are going on like Virgil. Alright. As this logistical puzzle comes together, just going to go return Brett's trailer to his house. Then we're going down to Bullfrog's place to swap vehicles. Oh, he's already hooked up, ready to go. Oh, he started, yo beauty. So we need the tray back to help refuel the boat. Beautiful work, Froggy. Left-handed, Froggy. Yeah, He's good at that. <laughs> Mikey's going up to get us a beer. This is always a bloody bonus. Bloody beautiful. Oh, you bastard. Oh. Alright. Nice one, Froggy. So we've got three other boats down here waiting for us. I'm in Weeby One waiting for Damon, the skipper. Um, he has been missing in action for about 40 minutes now. No idea where he is. As a positive, the Honda outboard there, that's the one you saw him working on, on the parts for it. It does seem to be operational. Where the f have you been? Here, there and everywhere. Yeah, rightio. <laughs> it's been a chaotic day, let's make it better. <laughs> you got any cold cans, like northern cans? What, don't you want one? What are they, Coronas? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Are there cans? Froggy, are you able to bomb me in some cans? Even if they're even if they're warm? <laughs> oh, Sweet, yeah, I'll get my ice. Sweet. As you can see, last night's plans at the bar have gone completely out the window. We're all leaving at the same time, all late in the afternoon. We'll be lucky if we make it there by sunset. Okay, motor is trimmed up. We have successfully arrived at Waiibi Fishing and Wilderness Lodge. We've got Ash and some of the rest of the crew in uh, five o'clock somewhere. Beautiful sunset occurring behind us. The mighty sea cow, the triumphant return. Hey Poochie, how'd you go? The fourth boat you might see in the convoy here is the sea cow. It's the dentist and his missus we met the night before at the bar. So young Damon and I arrived in Weeby One, one of Brett's boats. Brett's still 15 kilometres back. He was taking a smaller boat out here. It's five o'clock somewhere over here. It's five o'clock everywhere over here. You got any cold beers? It's six. Sucks. Sucks. It sucks. Yeah. Will you have a token kiwi on the trip? Yeah, I can a burn. Living the dream. This one. Hey Pitchy! Hey Pitchy! How you going? I see Brett coming in the distance, as well as the sunset. So we have officially made it to Waibi Fishing and Wilderness Lodge, and it is certainly very good to be here. Katie, what do you reckon? You beauty! 
going on? Damon, come here. What's going on, Mikey? Here we are at the, uh, the center of the universe. The center of the universe at the end of part one of this video. So we haven't even done any fishing yet, but it, man, I'm buggered. I, I just want to put this camera down. I've been mean, yeah, carrying around all day. Yeah. We're, we're going to do some fishing maybe. <laughs> We are going to do some fishing tomorrow. It's going to be an awesome video. I would say stay tuned. I'll upload it in the next, say, four days. Part two will be out in four days from now. Trust me, you'll love it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed watching this episode. And you'll love it. <laughs> in part one of this series, we had a huge couple of days, starting with a thousand kilometer drive to King Ash Bay Fishing Club from Darwin. Some unorthodox outboard repairs, catching up with some mates, and of course, the big trip out to Waiabi Lodge on North Island. G'day. You beauty. We're going to rejoin the action here by starting part two as we head down to the boats for our first fishing session of the trip. So the most important thing we spoke about yesterday was what? Not going too hard on the first day. Don't overdo it on the first day. This is what Mikey did. <laughs> Went real hard on the first day. Oh man, yeah, feeling a bit dusty today, but a bit of fresh air will do me good. Would have been such a good idea to do this last night, eh? Little bloody ripper. Thanks, KD. If you hold it tight, you'll probably burn your hands, so we won't get you to do that. Yeah, that's full. We don't want to overfill it or else you get bloody wind knots. Saragossa 6000 spooled up with J grade grand 50 pound line. Within about 40 seconds of fishing, I was feeling pretty crook. Anyone that's been seasick before knows it's just the worst feeling. Ash, our skipper, looked after me though. Lines were up and straight into the beach for a few beers. Almost all the islands in the region are indigenous owned land. You can't step foot on shore without permission or a permit. But lucky most of North Island is National Park. There's even a couple of spots you're allowed to camp at for free. After a couple of hours of cooling off and rehydrating, I was back to 100% and ready for an afternoon fishing session. Oh. Oh, Did anyone get hits yet? Oh, I can't tell if I was on the bottom for his hits. Brand new rod and reel. Really, really love to get a good fish on a day. Oh, this is gorgeous. Who was the that got seasick before? Unbelievable, eh? Oh, yep, hits. Come on, come on, take it, take it, please. He's on your field, hey! This is about eight centimeters long. What is it? It's a tricky. Yo, beauty! Pop the cherry on the new rod. Ho, ho, ho! The Therese with the Saragossa 6000. Oh, the fish is smaller than the reel. See you, champ. Thanks, Roddy. If I had to give a score out from point system, like it, it could be a little bit colder, so maybe you could have dug a bit deeper, but. Wait, here we go! Again, not a monster, but it feels bigger than the last one. It's a Goldie! Goldie in the boat! Yo, Beauty! Golden snapper, look at the colour on that. That's the keeper, yeah? What are you calling him, 45? 45. Yeah, beautiful. 43, maybe. We'd love to see it. Okay, there you'll be out. Yeah, 
Yeah, we had a couple of North Island, a little bit right Oh, catfish! <laughs> big That's a big caddy, caddy. Well done. Thank you. Poor little bastard. I've had him out for ages. Fish number one in the esky. We're not looking at taking many, but we do need some dinner. <laughs> Alrighty, there you go Froggy. Yeah, no, 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 I'm trusting Froggy nice. with the Saragossa while I rig up his line. Oh okay, Pat and Oster rig. So this is just a bit of Bullfrog's leader that was already tied on. So I'm just going to make a bit of a loop, chuck my finger in there and just spin, spin. Get through and pull the loop through. Tighten. That's where we're going to put our sinker on. We'll get to that afterwards. Work our way up a bit. We need to put a hook on, don't we? So do the same thing up here. Finger through, spin, spin. Pull the loop through. Boom. Okay, sinker is on the bottom. Beautiful. Slide down to where the hook's going to go. Hook's going to sit down on the side beautifully like this. Through the hole. Over the whole hook. Pull it tight. And that is the complete rig. A Pat Noster rig, and you are ready to start fishing, Bullfrog. Thanks, Margie. Oh, Cara with the with the rock monster. I'm scared. <laughs> you should be. Is Froggy on? The frog's on. Yes. Get up, it Froggy. Not much in it. Oh, tricky. <laughs> Little tricky snapper. Well done, Froggy. Would you mind? Would I mind? There we go. Nice little tricky froggy. See ya, buddy. <laughs> Mikey's about to be on. Yep, Mikey's on. That's a better fish. Correction, not a better fish. Are you on a tricky? I'll guarantee it. Come on, froggy. Oh, it's, it's given up, so it's... Oh, that's a good tricky. Twice the size of mine. Bag of tricks. Crikey, froggy. Very nice. See you, buddy. See you, buddy. Well done, Froggy. Double hookups on Tricky Snapper. Froggy's on. Oh, he's gone. Or is this tiny? <laughs> oh, it's a um, uh, uh, tusk fish. Parrotfish, tux, tusk fish. Blue bone. It would be that. that is a gorgeous little fish. Yeah. Car is on in the background too. That is just a beautiful looking fish. Look at, those eyes. Look at the teeth on the thing. Jesus. Hopefully to see him go. Beautiful. See you, Tusky. <laughs> Froggy's having a ripper of an afternoon. <laughs> it was a bit hot for the girls, so they swapped boats to head back to camp, receiving a shower from Ash as a party gift. <laughs> Oh, that wind noise is going to be the worst. Well, we've managed to drop the girls off onto one of the other boats. They've headed back to the shack. Just got me, Bullfrog and Ash left now. There's one little spot here that we're going to try just on the way home. Oh, I'm about to be on. I'm about to be on. Yep. Oh, on or snag? Snag. Oh, I can still feel the fish. It's snagged, but I'm on. Oh no! Give him heaps of slack line. I just dropped it. I literally spent 10 minutes re-rigging this up. Oh, he's back. I'm back. Okay, I've got it back. Oh, it's a tiny cod. Ah, uh, that's not a cod. That's a ash. A what? Coral cod. Coral cod. There you go. A hungry little coral cod. Off you go, buddy. Oh, that's a bloody shame, that is. Gonna head home with our tail between our legs, I reckon.
obviously safe and sound back here at camp. Good to be back, gonna enjoy the sunset. But look, today's fishing was, on local standards here, very poor. Yes, we did get a few fish in the boat, which is always good. But look, me being seasick in the morning, man, it's the worst feeling in the world. So we did spend several hours just chilling on the beach, having a few beers. But look, there's always tomorrow. We've got the chance to get some fish tomorrow. I'll see you first thing in the morning, I reckon. Check out this sunset. Michael Edward. Thanks, mate. So we're fairly windy this morning. The chances of going outside fishing is not so good, but we do have a few spots inside here. We're gonna have a bit of a crack with after breakfast. Oh, sausages. Oh my goodness. What do you reckon, Brett? You gonna lean over for the drips? I'm gonna try and not get it all down the front of my shirt. <laughs> located a large mud crab in this vicinity. That's a big male. Oh yes! Buddy. So that big buck was actually empty. Ash showed us there how you can push on his little six pack there and it was quite soft. So there's no meat in it, no point keeping it. So off he went. Yep, yep. Oh, come on. Head shakes, head shakes. Oh, beauty! <laughs> the season opener. Well, you do know I love catch and release, but we do need to also eat dinner tonight. So we're going to keep this one, hopefully grab a couple more and have a bit of a feast. Beautiful golden snapper to open the account. <laughs> Rog, I reckon we can have a stub just because we've got a good fish on board we can uh, treat ourselves to a stubby. Little goldie. Oh, it's a beauty. In the boat, lift froggy, lift. Yes, froggy. Look at that. The Bloody King Ash Bay's most eligible bachelor is hey, also a hunter gatherer. And he can fish. <laughs> he can fish, all right. Oh, you're a champion, Froggy. <laughs> Look at Bullfrog's leader. It is that long. That's like an inch. <laughs> yes, Froggy. Thanks, little Goldie. You beauty. Oh, it's a monster. That's a, a Moses perch. Is that correct, Ash? Yeah, it looks like a finger mark or a golden snapper, a little juvenile, but I think it's a Moses perch. You beauty, <laughs> little champion. Yeah. Oh God. Oh, I think he's dead. Oh no, he's all right. Well, Look at him go. <laughs> You're doing a great job, Katie. We're obviously back at Waibi and we're about to head back after we finish packing up. 
back into town. Amazing host as usual, mate. Oh, look, I just I can't help Give it. Give me some love. I do, the man love it's right there. It's, just <laughs> it's a man love aura. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, we're well, saying goodbye to Weeby. Once you're old. And that's the last anyone ever saw of Brett Travis. <laughs> well, that's it for part two of this series. In part three, we have the most productive fishing session of the trip on the way back home from the island. And the following morning, Ash and I head out for a barra fishing session. So stay tuned for part three. I'll upload it as soon as I finish editing it in about four or five days. In part two of this series, we arrived at North Island, had some fun and squeezed in some fishing over an exciting three days. We start part three as we leave North Island and peel away from the rest of the boats who are heading straight home. We want to squeeze in one more reef fishing session today before barra fishing tomorrow. It's going to be a little bit more crowded because we've got all our gear on the boat. It's going to be a little bit more crowded because we've got all our gear on the boat. I'll give you a look. Give you a look. Thank you. Three. Just two, thanks. Thank you. So not really a lot of room. <laughs> so not really a lot of room for fishing up the front, but there is a couple of spots we want to fish on the way home. We're still looking for that trophy fish. What do you reckon, mate? Chances? Pretty good. Oh, your good, beauty. Good side. arrived at one of Ash's secret spots. It's rough and windy, but the fish are biting non-stop from the first drop. Oh, a good way to cool off anyway. Thank you. <laughs> oh, crikey. On, off, almost on, yep, on, on. First drop, and that was a bait I had on hours ago. It's not heavy, it's not heavy. It's a goldie! Oh, beauty! You're filthy! Thanks, mate. Copy that. Little Goldie on the first drop of this spot. Beautiful. See you, mate. Oh, Nanny Pot. Nanny. Close car. Anything. How much line did you have out? I don't know. It took heaps. Did it? Keep going. I so just keep so drop wind it down. Wind it down and lift. Wind down. What have we got? Oh my god! <laughs> It is a massive catfish. Absolutely rolled her. That is crazy. <laughs> Okay, we're putting the Saragossa on the Therese to the test here. Oh, hopefully it's not one of those big bloody catfish. <laughs> He's running like crazy, this bastard. Caddy? Yep. 
Yeah. Oh man, they put up a fight. Just went in a PB bloody nanny guy and winching about a sore back. <laughs> I can't focus. Oh, I can't focus. Good Goldie. Good Goldie. Oh, good Goldie. Oh, sorry, for you. Right. Good Goldie. Good Goldie. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Bring her in. Beautiful Goldie. How deep's the water here, Ash? Oh, about eight meters, mate. Yeah, you beauty. All right. Well, these guys are susceptible to barotrauma. We've seen that in previous videos, Ash, but a real good one. But we're going to be able to let him go, and he should be all good. Yeah, beauty. That is a really good Goldie Cara, well done. We're getting so many double and triple hookups. Katie's on this little cod here. I just lost a huge go goldie over the side of the boat. <laughs> I do like catch and release. That one was not intentional. That's all right. I think we've got a decent knife. Yeah, no dramas. You need pliers. You need knife. Carrots. <laughs> That's it, and that's what we do. Yeah, we do that one, sweet. Yep, on. Another Goldie, they're prolific. This is a small one, but good to see. Another Goldie for Katie. Oh, yeah, yeah Mikey's on. Mikey's on. It's a little tiny tricky. Yep. Oh, yes. Hey, if you're now, Mum. Good Goldie, very good Goldie, come on that. Thanks Froggy, oh beauty. Oh man. Oh being seasick is the worst feeling in the world. Nice fish. Oh no, I can't down. Just release him, Oh man, I am absolutely dusted. Seasick is the worst. These guys are getting that thing off the hook for me. Yeah, bloody beautiful. Real nice goldie there, Mikey. Real nice. Thanks, mate. We have a decent size, but didn't go back. We got plenty. Yeah, chuck it back, eh? Hey. Oh, thanks, mate. No worries, brother. Yeah. Yep, that was the third time this trip that I've been seasick. At least this time, everyone else was feeling it too. So we pulled up anchor and headed back to the boat ramp. We got a heap of fish, ain't we? Yeah. yeah. What about? <laughs> it was it was rough. We only, we only left because I got seasick again. <laughs> but we can be pulling up good goldies all day, I reckon.
people, what a roller coaster of a bloody trip that was. We are losing light, so I'm going to keep this quick. We've completely unloaded the boat. We're obviously back here at King Ash Bay Lodge. We're going to fillet some fish, hopefully, have some fish for dinner. Look at that, dishes hey, sorted. No worries, <laughs> Everyone's trying to take credit, but Katie, Mikey did the dishes. Anyway, I think we broke Bullfrog because he's not coming today. Me and Ash are the only lonesomes going out. Okay, it's going to be another big day. <laughs> you sure you don't want to come, Froggy? So Damo's going to drop you out at the boat. So we've got Bullfrog's car with all that gear in it. Bullfrog sitting on the roof at the moment. Dropping Ash off at Damon's place. He's going to jump in his boat and take Ash out to Ash's boat. Damon will then come back to his house. Ash will come to the boat ramp. I will have driven down here with Bullfrog to the ramp. We unload all the stuff onto the boat, then Bullfrog drives back to his house and does whatever he likes for the day. And I jump on the boat and we go fishing. Logistical challenge accepted. How's the ride over on the roof, mate? <laughs> Three, one, two. Three. Three bags. Bit of a bloody honesty system here at the fishing club. Just chuck your money in the bloody four bucks a bag. You bloody ripper! Better get a move on. Froggy's fuel needle is at empty. Oh yeah. All right, Froggy, we'll see you this Arvo. See you, Froggy. Oh. Oh, look at this. <laughs> It'd be rude to say no, okay, wouldn't it? Now, uh, no spinners. No spinners. No spinners. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> How's it going, brother? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you need to feed a f***ing army, man. Oh, f***. Oh, you need... You got, oh, f***, sorry. <laughs> All good, mate. What, you going out fishing? Yeah. Good on you. Oh, you going over to Lousy? Yeah. If we nail a couple of barrow, do you want us to bring one over oh, for you? Yeah. Bring over a barrow? Yeah, yeah. See what yeah. we can do, mate. Right, we'll yeah, cool, mate. We'll, we'll probably see this, Arvo. Thanks for being We'll see you. Yeah. A couple more. Hey? No, no, no. No, we've got a few. All right, all right mate. Have a good one. Bye. Thanks for the beer. Last thing I said to Bullfrog before we left was that I'm not going to crack a beer until I catch my first barra. <laughs> then Steve comes along just holding these beautiful cold beers out. <laughs> oh well. Don't say that. Cheers to it, mate. Cheers, brother. <laughs> yes, please. Oh. Raymond Anderson. Good on you, Raymond. Beautiful artwork. Local Borrelula boy. Local Borrelula boy.
Well, as you can see, the boat's fairly empty today. Just me and Ash. We had young Damon and Alex both bail after drinking too many tequilas in the pool last night. Bullfrog's getting a bit old, so we broke him over the weekend. So I've just got the full committed ones, me and Ash. We're over the Lousy Creek today, maybe an hour from King Ash Bay. And we're starting with a trolling run. So I've got a bit of a Barra Classic there. Gonna troll with Big Bird today, the big 10 footer. Oh, hit on on yep oh missed missed oh, no. <laughs> missed oh man he started running that way I have the biggest trebles on that vibe I don't know how you could <laughs> miss obviously just just pulled that's the funniest thing with Barry you'll you'll never know how that could have been a rat it could have been a metery yeah. you'll never at the initial hit you'll just never know when you're out making fishing videos, there's probably two absolute rookie errors that you can make. The first one is forgetting to put a memory card in the camera, which I've only done about 400 times. And the second rookie error you're about to see. Oh, oh Ashon. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. I did not hit the, I was the recording. And then when Ash hooked up, I hit the record button again, thinking that I started recording, but it was actually, <laughs> I actually stopped it, so we've just lost all the chaos of this beautiful little barra. <laughs> During the chaos, we realised that we've lost the landing net on the trip over. You better hold that, mate. So we, yeah. we actually landed the fish after it went around the motors. Oh, crikey. Really Use nice the lip fish. grippers there. Beautiful fish. I'm, I've lost all concept of what a good barra is. That's, a good, that's 65, yeah? Yeah, it'd be 60. Yeah, just over 60. That's a yeah. gorgeous fish. Beautiful. Fish. I haven't caught a good barra in so long, I forgot what they look like. <laughs> Bloody beautiful, mate. <laughs> did you pull the hook out or it come out itself? I definitely did not pull the hook. Good? Yep. Oh, off you go, buddy. That's unreal. Oh, yes. Well done, mate. First fish of the day. Good work. Gonna be a good day. We found a stowaway. Damon has anchored up the rubbish barge. We've picked him up. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Taddy. Taddy? Tads? Taddy. Taddy. Taddy or Tads? Tads. The tadpole. You see, like the little bullfrog. You're a little frog. You're a tadpole. Wee! Wee! Up. We're going to send you on your merry way. Yeah, we're going to go battle with the seven seas. Thank you. <laughs> no, give him a can. He, he is not worthy of a stubby. He can have a can. <laughs> ah, look, the tadpole has to get his legs somehow, mate. <laughs> give him a can. Yeah, Roger. Coming in hot. Not even just a touch. Watch the paint. Legendary, mate, legendary. Thank you, Mikey and Ash. All right, we're leaving the Lousy Creek. It has been a fairly big day. We've done a little bit of fishing, a lot of exploring. The wind has picked up, which is unfortunate for young Damon over here in the small vessel. <laughs>
thought you were going so smooth. No, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, we're, we're dry. <laughs> Got slow motion footage, yeah. yeah. It, it's it's a little bit blurry. I don't know why slow mo does that, eh? Yeah, right. <laughs> Mate, I, can, I can tell you this this little tiny tinny boat does not handle the sea like this one. <laughs> <laughs> the tadpole has been swimming. Yes. Hasn't quite grown legs, but he is wriggling. <laughs> Roger. You look pretty dry, mate. <laughs> Feel pretty dry, mate. <laughs> Same. Well, a very sort of bittersweet moment for me. It's the end of the trip. Uh, look, it's been an amazing trip and that's uh, that's what the bitter part is, that I have to leave this amazing place. I used to live here. I lived here for five and a half years on the MacArthur River here. My house was uh, that second jetty there. That was that was my house. <laughs> so yeah, definitely some, some good memories here. The sweet part is though that I get to see my little son, Artie tomorrow. I'm driving home tomorrow and I get to see my wife and my son, which will be pretty cool. Hopefully going to edit together a three-part series. This will be the end of part three. That's right folks, the end of part three. This trip was made possible by so many generous people. Huge thanks to Ash and Kate from King Ash Bay Lodge. I never bring food and never enough beers, but they always look after me every time I go back to King Ash Bay. Brett from Waiibi Fishing and Wilderness Lodge, big thanks to you mate for the two nights we stayed out at the island. Can't wait for the next trip back there. Thanks Bullfrog just for being you mate, you make our adventures so much more fun. And thanks everyone else that came along on the adventure. But the biggest thank yous have to go to the people that without them I wouldn't have even been able to leave for the trip. Firstly my wife Jazzy, she not only works full time but worked her butt off for the week I was away looking after baby Artie. Thank you so much for putting up with me. She had lots of help from my wonderful in-laws, Kev and Ange. Without their help, there's just no possible way I would have been able to go away for a week to make this series. If you've got to the end of this video, then I hope you've enjoyed the series. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.